It's the staple of most women's wardrobe, and yet for many, it's the one item they get wrong. Here's Sally Obermeter with the do's and don'ts of denim and how to find the right pair of jeans for your shape. There are jeans for all different types of body shapes. The majority of women are walking around in jeans that aren't right for their body shape. You probably don't want to hear this, but personal stylist Sarah Donjas says that most women aren't making the most of what they have, and in fact, they're wearing the wrong jeans. What you need to do is make sure that they fit you perfectly and make you look and feel fantastic. Sarah's put together a guide of do's and don'ts for each body shape, a system which she's successfully implemented with many of her clients. So Carol is an hourglass? Yes, so Carol is our hourglass figure. Mm -hmm. So her shoulders and hips are in line and she's got a definite waistline as well, which we really want to show off. But what we don't want to do and what we want to avoid is anything that's too big and baggy through here. Because right. that will make this area look a lot bigger than what it is. So what we've done is we've gone for something quite tight through the thigh, yep. higher in the rise as well. And also it's quite hugging through the bottom. You really have to avoid small pockets on the bottom. Right, because otherwise it just makes the bottom look bigger? Absolutely. So Anna is a classic rectangle straight up and down. What we want to do instead is to give her some curves. So what have we gone for? What we've gone for is a pair of skinny leg jeans here mm -hmm. and we've gone for fading through here as well. What does that do? It's really highlighting that area so mm -hmm. it's making it look like it's quite shapely through here. Okay fantastic. And we've also these lines across here are fabulous for giving her curves. Right so that looks wider than it actually is. Absolutely. Okay. So again on the back we've got this fading through here. Mm -hmm. So it's drawing attention to this area and it's making it look quite curvy as yeah. well. Which so really makes people look straight there. Curvy bottom. Curvy bottom. Lovely, great, good illusion. So a pear shape like Claire is bigger in the hips and thighs than the shoulders, is that That's right? right, yep, definitely. So what it is, we don't want to widen this area at all okay. because we want to even it up to the top half. Right here, so what should they avoid? What they should avoid is skinny leg jeans. Right. Any kind of fading through here as well will draw the attention to this area. Okay, so that's why you've gone for just a dark pair of jeans, one colour. Notice there's no stripes or there's no creasing, there's nothing. No, nothing in this area at all. Okay. So no design detail. Keep it really plain and simple. So Marie is our apple shape. What have yes. you done with her? So she's our perfect apple shape. So all of her weight is on her tummy, mm -hmm. but she has fabulous legs and a really good backside. So that's what we want to show off. But what we do want to avoid is anything too low in the rise. So any kind of muffin top look is not very good at so all. So nothing to accentuate the problem area. Not at all. So the advice for apple shapes then is go the tummy trimmer jean and get a bit of kind of a through yep. here. Yep. Definitely. Sarah also suggests looking at celebrities for denim inspiration. For the pear shape, Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce and Alicia Keys. Nicole Kidman, Nicole Richie and Kate Hudson embody the rectangle. Apples are Drew Barrymore, Jessica Simpson and Jennifer Hudson. And as for the hourglass, Jessica Biel, Kim Kardashian and Scarlett Johansson. Value for money is also important. Between 60 and 150, you can really get a good value pair of jeans that will really last you and do what you need them to do. And there's more, of course, on our website. Now stay with us, we're back right after this.